What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing May's BoxyCharm unboxing. If you are new to my channel, hi, hello, I'm Kelly. And how we normally do our unboxings over here is not only am I going to unbox everything and show you guys everything in my May box, but I'm also going to try it on and do a makeup tutorial using the products in the box to show you guys how the products actually work. I have been doing these BoxyCharm unboxing videos monthly on my channel and then last month in April I didn't upload one because I was like maybe it's too much, like maybe every single month is like too much for people to want to see. And I literally got so so many comments, so many tweets, so many DMs like where is April's BoxyCharm video, where is the unboxing video. So you guys spoke, you like the BoxyCharm unboxing video, so I am going to continue doing them monthly for you guys. So I am so excited, I cannot wait to dig in. This box is shaped like a little different than normal, so I'm like ooh, okay what's inside? Because normally it's just like a regular square where this one's more of like a rectangle. So I don't know, maybe there's like an interesting shaped product in there or something, we'll have to see when we open it up. And if you don't know what BoxyCharm is, it's a monthly subscription service, it's $21 per month and you get four to five full size size beauty products. So they're not sample or anything, full size. And honestly, most of the time it's five. Like they say four to five, but most of the time it's five. And the boxes are supposed to be valued at over $100. I will add up the value of all the products today to let you guys know the value of this box. But anyways, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. Make sure you guys are following me on Instagram at Kelly Strack Official. It'll be linked somewhere on the screen here. And be sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not already and click the little bell right next to the subscribe button so you can be notified of all of my future uploads. And let's jump into it. All right. So first things first, we're going to box then we're gonna try all of the products so this is what I see Ooh, glam glow oh this is probably why the box is longer is for because of this glam glow product oh my god wait I'm so excited so this is the glam glow gentle bubble daily conditioning cleanser Ooh, girl I have never or wait no I have tried I think one cleanser from Glam Glow in the past. I've tried a lot of their masks and I really, really like them. They're a very nice high-end skincare company. So this is probably very expensive on its own. Let me see. They do give you like a little pamphlet which does tell you the MSRP on everything. Okay, so the MSRP on this is $28. I actually would have thought it was more because I feel like Glam Glow is kind of pricey. Um, but I am really, really excited to try this. It says it conditions, deep cleanse, and face makeup remover. So that is really exciting. The packaging is super cute on this too. Go ahead and open it up and see. Ooh, oh my God, this is so cute. I love this. Okay, I'm really excited. Let's see if it has like a scent or something. Mm, no, not really. Just a regular kind of looking cleanser. It looks like a clear cleanser. No scent, but I am really excited to try this out. Obviously, I'm not gonna be able to try this one out today on camera because I am gonna be doing my makeup like with the other products. But what I can do is I'll try this tonight and then I'll update the description box with how it felt on my skin, how it cleaned my skin, and then if the next day I experience any breakouts or anything, I'll have that all in the description box. So check down there if you're interested, but I'm really, really excited. I trust Glam Glow and their products. Anything that I've tried from them in the past, I did enjoy. So I'm excited to try this because I've never tried the Gentle Bubble Daily Conditioning Cleanser. All right, next thing that I see right here is this dose of colors lippy so I haven't tried that much dose of color stuff but I've always really wanted to so this is a liquid matte lipstick from them in the shade Los Angeles I think is how you say it I think it's supposed to be like Los Angeles but it says Los Angeles but this is what it looks like super super cute so the price on this guy is $18 it's gonna be a matte finish so obviously we are gonna test this out on our lips but it looks like a really pretty red color so I'm excited for that up next we have this eye luster cream eyeshadow from Ciate London so it says it's a metallic eyeshadow the shade is Cupid let's see what it looks like the outward packaging doesn't really give you any indication of what the shade is so let's see oh my gosh Stop. That is so pretty. We are going to put that on our eyelids today, honey. Oh, wow. That's pretty. Okay. What is the, the price on this is $22. I'm trying to make sure that you can put this over. Okay. Yeah. So it says it can be swiped on for a full coverage luster, blended out for a sheer sparkle or applied over any eyeshadow as a topper. So I'm just going to put this on my bare lids so we can like really see how it um, works, but I am really excited. Super pretty. At first I thought there was only three products and I was like, um, what? But underneath this little flap, we have two more products waiting for us. So we did get five products this month. And under there we have the Alamar Cosmetics Colorette Blush Trio. So let's see what this is. I believe I tried something from Alamar Cosmetics in a previous BoxyCharm and really liked it. Like I've actually discovered a couple new brands from BoxyCharm and I believe this was one that I had tried in the past and I liked one of their products. Um, ooh, 
but this is what it looks like. So you get three different blushes in here. We have like a orange with a decent amount of shimmer to it, a more peachy shade, and then another kind of orangey with golden undertone shade. So I'm excited to try this on my cheeks today. And the retail value of this is $22. And then last but not least, we have this Bodyography Midnight Blue Eye Pencil. So it is a little blue eye pencil. So this one retails for $14.99. All right, so I'm gonna add up all of the pricing to let you guys know how much the box retails for or like the retail value of the box. So the mask was $28, the blush palette was 22, the eyeshadow was 22, the liquid lipstick was 18, and the eyeliner was 14. So that is a $104 value. So again, for $21, pretty good value. Obviously we have to see how the products will work. So that is what we're gonna do now. I am gonna pin my hair back and out of my face so you guys can really see what I'm doing. I'm debating if I should like create a little eye look like with eyeshadow before I put this on or I should just put this on my lid. It might look a little weird if I just put this on my lid. I'm gonna leave my lid clean but I am gonna put a little bit of shadow in my crease. So we're gonna pause for one second. I have this palette right here from Kevin Aquan that just has some purples in it so I'm just gonna jump in real quick in my crease, throw a little bit of purple in there. I'm not gonna do like a crazy crazy look because I really wanna just test what the liquid eyeshadow is like but I think this will make the whole look kind of come together a little bit more if we do have some shadow down. So I'm just going in with like a light purpley in the crease right now. All right, so honestly that shadow didn't really apply amazingly, but at least we have something down, you know, a little bit. But I did keep my lid clean so we can really see the color of this. So this is the, again, the Eye Luster. And I'm just going to go in on my lid with her. Oh my goodness. Stop. This is so pretty. And it's like duochrome. So it reflects almost gold in some lights, which is really, really beautiful. So it's not like overly pinky purple, which actually makes it like a little bit more wearable for like anybody, even if you don't like color. Cause I'm not like the craziest fan of like color. Like I don't do a ton of colorful looks. This is really, really pretty. And definitely shines like a champagne gold, depending on where the light's hitting it. Dang, oh my goodness. This looks stunning. I really hope that it like shows on camera how pretty and shimmery this is because it is really, really a beautiful product. I am going to watch it closely as it dries though to see because sometimes these products can get a little creasy and stuff as they dry. So I'm going to keep an eye on that. Make sure that it doesn't transfer too because we don't want the sparkles like all the way up here transferring. Wow, this is so pretty. Okay, so it's been about a minute and 30 seconds. It feels completely dry on both of my lids. We didn't have any transferring or anything and I don't see any creasing going on. So that is normally a good sign. Like if it's gonna crease, it normally will do it before it sets. So it does feel set now. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. I may go in with a little bit of a little bit more of these like purpley shades just to kind of create a little eye look going on, but just so we have like a little little purple eye look. I'm gonna do a little smoky crease action and call it a day and bring it underneath my lid as well. The liquid eyeshadow really was like the showstopper of this look, honestly. Okay, honestly, these eyeshadows are like really not my favorite at all. I would not suggest this, but this is like one of the palettes that I have that had purple shadows in this room. So we're gonna roll with it, but the liquid eyeshadow from the actual Boxy Charm was beautiful. So that kind of saved the look. I'm gonna go in with the eye pencil. Again, this is a blue shade. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually line my upper lid with this, and then I'm going to put it in my waterline as well. So I'm just gonna do a quick line. And just because I am doing it on a small area, I'm going to put it on my hand so you guys can see it swatch. It's actually a really pretty, like, I don't think metallic necessarily is the right word. Is that how it describes it? No, not metallic. Like, just very lustrous. That's not the right word. I don't know. It's like a jewelry toned blue. It's very, very pretty. I like it. It's not a navy. Like, it has a little bit of a sheen to it, which I like. I am going to put a little bit in my waterline as well. Royal blue. That's the term that I was looking for. It's sort of like a royal blue. I'm gonna just go in and pop on some mascara just to coat my lashes. I'm not gonna apply any false lashes or anything today because we already have a lot of sparkle and shimmer and stuff going on. So I'm just gonna go in with some mascara to finish off the eyes and then we will test the rest of the face products. Alrighty, eyes are done. I'm gonna go in and just put a little bronzer on my face before we go in with the blushes because I didn't put anything on my face. Well, besides like foundation, obviously, but I mean no like blush or contour or anything like that bronzer situation. So I'm just going to kind of contour out the face with this. 
All right, so now we're going to hop in with the Colorette Blush Trio. So there are three different blushes. Um, what I'm going to do is I'll use two of them, like one on each cheek, and then the last one I guess I'll just swatch for you guys. But then at least I can show you guys what two of them looks like. So I'm going to go in with Castaway first, which is right here. And I'm going to tap that on my cheeks. Ooh. Oh, this is actually really nice. It has a really pretty sheen to it. And you know what I like about this too is like I am not crazy about blushes. If you haven't watched any of my other videos, I'm not a huge blush person because I don't like to add a ton of rosiness to my face. I have a lot of redness to my skin naturally. But what I like about the orange is it almost adds like kind of like a tan like glow to your skin, like a little sun kissness, or at least this one does. So I really like this. I haven't really tried like a lot of orange blushes before, but this is really really pretty. So I like that a lot. Now I'm going to go in with Hericio, which is in the middle, I'm grabbing a different brush just so we don't cross contaminate. This one is more of like a true rosy blush. Going to pop that on the cheeks as well. That's what it looks like. I like the orange one I think a little bit better but what I like about both of these is they have a really pretty sheen to them so they almost have like a little bit of like a highlighting effect to your face but it's not like chunky glitter on your cheeks which nobody wants so this is actually really really pretty I am gonna swatch the last one for you guys which is the shade Scorcher so that is what Scorcher looks like I'll swatch it right next to Castaway because that's also orange so you guys can see they definitely are different. Scorcher is a bit darker and a little bit more peachy toned where Castaway is more like true orange with golden undertones, if that kind of makes sense. So they definitely are different. And then last but not least, we have our lippy. And again, this is Dose of Colors Los Angeles. And I'm gonna go in with this on. Ooh, wow, this is so pretty. It has a really nice scent to it too. It smells really good. I'm trying to do this with no lip liner, so bear with me, you guys. And this is really pigmented too. I am like literally shook at how pigmented this is. I have not dipped back into this at all. Like this is literally just one swipe of this liquid lipstick and my lips are completely covered. So, so pretty. This does dry down to a matte very quickly, which is nice. You're gonna not have to wait like a long time for this to set on your lips. It's pretty much completely dried at this point, but it does not feel drying on my lips, at least not right now. Again, I will update the description box with how it lasts on my lips throughout the day for you guys. But this is a really, really pretty color. It has like almost a really deep pinky undertone to it. It's not like a true classic red. Like some reds have like orangey undertones. This one I think has a little bit more of like a pinky undertone to it, but it is beautiful. Alrighty guys, so that is everything. Definitely let me know down below what your thoughts are on this month's box and also what you got in your boxy charm this month. I would love to hear because there are slight variations in the boxes, so I always like to hear what other people got. Thank you guys so so much for watching. I love you so much and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye